buddies, my name is Jack Simple Guy, and welcome back to Fran Bowling Ball! We just left the Tree Kingdom, and it was a glorious place, and it was full of very nice people who wanted to talk a lot of stuff to us. But we're out of there now, and we're gonna keep on moving, and there's a jar- My pills! Are these my pills? Wow! But, fuck. Uh, sorry. Uh, also my throat is feeling a lot better now, so I, I should be able to keep doing voices for a lot longer. Home! Home! I guess home is in that direction. You keep going to grab these, they're just gonna keep moving. Also, my cable just moved across my knee and it made me feel all weird. <laughs> yes, Kitty! Can you grab them? Get them! No, okay, fair enough. Thanks. Oh no! Oh no! I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad, Fran! Bad, bad! I have a knife. <laughs> there we go! Ah! On the ground. Padunk. Sweet, who's trying to trap me? Hello, Mr. Skeleton, dear. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. You're a friend? Edward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, he was in the girl's house. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I'm sorry, what? I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find Kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't make me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me, instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But, let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat? I always came by night- I always came by night and told you stories that were just- when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Uh, okay. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. All right, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. Whoa, you're a tall motherfucker. Yeah, let's just tall, trust this tall freak who is hiding in the bushes who said he wants to lead us somewhere and show us something. That's perfect, uh, flawless logic. Okay. Is that a time machine? Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes! With this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home! We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. That sounds great. But what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when times become slower and gives us a chance to enter the ultra-reality. It's like Inception. Inside the ultra-reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are a part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. Does that mean you don't understand? But sir, should I just wait until you were done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not! You can help by getting water and fireberries, alright? Uh, alright. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water! I made it myself. That is a marvelous bucket. Ah! And the fireberries! You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. <laughs> Alright, but sir, can I ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kalamas. Oh, Kalamas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. 
Um, why were you like enticing me along with my pills? Invisible to my eyes. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in like a one second. <laughs> anyway, I go get the fireberries and the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine. It is a bad idea to do that voice for that guy. I'm my voice is just going to give out eventually. Into the darkness we go. What the fuck is this? So much hair and so shiny. Do I still have a comb? No. Oh, I have this thing. Palantras's box. Yeah, we'll use it with that. Fair enough. Oh, hi. That's a big moosey moose all dead. There's the fire berries. Oh, the berries are on fire. It has to be the fire berries. Can I climb this? Get out, get out. You are trespassing on my territory. Huh, excuse me. I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose, I'm a deedle worm. A deadly worm. I'm, I'm some sort of weird creature. Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil or creatures took from it and I don't need any more. But I don't see a talking moose. What are you? But I only see a talking moose. Oh. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, there you are. <laughs> You're so tiny. Hello. My name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible the moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. My phone is going off. Oh, crap balls. There's a bunch of shit going on. I don't care. On Twitter. <laughs> Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Up we go to get the fireberries. Do we not need water first? I can't take the fireberries. They are on fire. Right. So down we get. Down you get. We go get some water, friend. Also, notice how it says hell now. It used to say home. Very interesting. Hello, old wicked lady head. Hello. Are you those shiny insects that get stuck in trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. But how did you know this? You are not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. So now what the fuck do I do? Can I go over here? Oh, those are my shoes. I'm looking down onto the ground. My boots are quite dirty. Okay, so can I use the bucket to get water? Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. Okay, so I need... Maybe I can take their hair. It's the longest hair ever. Um, let's use the knife on their hair. Use bloody knife with hair. Ah, things are not working. Makes me angry. Okay. We're not stuck now. Leave us alone. Okay. Let's go back and see. I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. I don't know, Fran. Probably a million billion years. Can I get up there now and get the fireberries? I wonder if those berries are good to eat. Probably not. There's not a lot to do in this area, so I, I'm confused now. Maybe I need some of these. So much hair and so shiny. Can I use this on it? No. Use bloody knife with hair. Some things just don't work. Oh! 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 That's this area! Ah, uh, dude! Are you seeing this shit? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh, hmm. What? I look completely deformed. Fran! Are you fine with seeing this? 
Oh, that's the hair. Is that the hair from the same creature extending the entire length of this? Yeah! Whoa! Okay, so how do I get your hair? I need your hair to wrap around my bucket, I imagine. So then I can get the water, and then the water can turn out the berries. Confused! There's always like one little tiny thing you have to do with this, and it always it always gets to me. It always, Mr. Midnight, what do we do? After I'm done with my chores, we're going to be up in the air, Kitty. Isn't it great? Fucking marvelous. What happens if I look across like this? I don't know, I can't reach the water from here. Can I examine this and figure it out? I wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Okay. That's good to know. Hold on a sec. If I climb this and go up into the tree, they're on fire in the nightmare realm. Get out, scavengers. I'm not a scavenger. I'm climbing again. Go ahead. <laughs> I like him. He's cool. So if we go up here and then change... Can I change the pills? Ah. There we go. I can't just pull them off with my hands. They are firmly attached. Okay. Knife rooney toony Schlink. Got um, fire berries. Sweet. Now I just have to figure out how the... Kitty, help! Now I just have to figure out how the hell I get the bucket down into the water. Who am I gonna just attach the bucket to them? I need help, please. Would you allow me to use this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane! Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Okay, then. Bucket is now full of water. Fan dabby dozy. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. It was a rhetorical question. I just want to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Fair enough. I just want the bucket, though. Thank you. Okay, we have a bucket full of water now. I don't know why that took me forever to figure out. Um, but after this, dude, I have the shits. I have the shit that I need, not that I actually have the shits. Read them for the journey back home. What voice did I give him? I always forget the voices. We need them for the journey back home! Yes, I have the water and the fireberries. Go fuck yourself. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent! They will do just fine! Thank you very much, my darling. Sir Itchward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Luciferns? They are nice, yes. But only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you! Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't even been to the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. Oh! And there's five chapters in the game. Five realities. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there? Maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Still don't trust this dude. Go along, kitty. There you go. Everybody's inside. Are we gonna fly now? Up we go! It sounded like a train for some reason. Sweetness! It's 2.36. We have to great res we have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You will soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Huh? That sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. Your flying machine works by bike? If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me the answers I'm looking for will come when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. Ooh, I'm so curious. 
That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. Or dead. Curiosity killed the cat is the same for a reason. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you would be do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water to be you gathered before. Thank you. You'll need them to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. See you soon. Maybe we should actually ask what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Can you remember what I'm supposed to be doing? <clears throat> Get the water pump working and the fuel mixed. Just follow the wall newels. It's like a manual but on the walls. Fair enough. Maybe I should put push the button to open. Skidink! There we go. Come on, Kitty. You! He was helping me through the maze! Oh! Okay. Reality view is normal. Ultra reality view is fire. Chemical mixture. What? Micronutrients and fire berries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Ah, boss. Do I actually have to do this properly? Ah, boss. I'm not gonna remember this. Okay, let's see what happens. AFM to A18. Ah, boss. This is gonna be confusing. What are we making? <laughs> Okay, AFM to A18. Let's see if we can figure this out first. AFM. I don't know what AFM is. It's not there. What do you have inside the little little bottle? Oh, okay. AFM. Let me see. Hmm. AFM missing. So, is this telling me how to make AFM? No. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh! 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 Hi! Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock. Tick tock. Okay. I think I have to put a fireberry. I filled this up with some stuff by accident. I was just clicking on these. And they fill up shit. I don't know. I'll figure that out after. I think I have to put the fireberries here. Even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. I thought they were supposed to be on fire in this reality. Confused. Very confused. This is going to take a while. Okay, let's click on this and see what happens. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. Great. Are those drink- okay, fuck off with this reality for a second. Ah! Oh wait, does this say something? Oh! A match goes into that. This is all in a different language. It's all in French. Okay, so match the light. Turn this, and then something. Okay, I have matches. Where's the thing I had to turn? I don't know. Here we go! Nice! Okay. Can I add these to this? No. I won't even try that. Okay. So that's for the actual engine components. Okay, so I... I need to figure out what AFM is. Ugh. Let's go back out for a sec. And let's look at this, and we'll work from right to left then. N166. But how do I make N166? To R15, to 2PF, to A18. Oh, the sisters are back! This is another room. Give me the key! Oh, you look very happy. Can I have the key? Thank you! Why are you back? Are you- are you here to kill Itward? Oh, shit balls. The ladder leads to the door, but it's closed. Okay, don't take the pills. Can you use the key on this now? I gave open the other thing for a second. I want to see what this does. Sweet. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but none of the sides could decide if what they were just if what they were just just right, if what there was just right. I don't know. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they were both mad. 
Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. Itward, the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Edward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped in the world of disconnections. There's a lot going on to this, but I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Oh, they were trying to get me to do the thing! That's when I arrived! My cat went missing! What was that sound? Okay, can I go up yet? Okay, no, the ladder leads to the door. I think this is the way I came in, so can I go this way? So the cat went missing and I opened up the well. Maybe Itward can open it later. Okay. What's the point of turning the, the lights off? Does it create something? Oh, the tree people! Um, let's turn it. There's stuff at the bottom of the screen freaking me out. That was scary. I was, like, I was wondering if they were getting closer. Hi. Yeah, you're still dead. Okay. Let's go out and see if there's anything else out here. Oh god, why are you a clown now? No, no, thanks. I'm good. Okay, I need to figure this shit out. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! Is this a video game? What?! Can I actually move? I can! Ah! <laughs> That's cool! Okay, I can't move the other direction. Why? Oh, I can. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> okay, we have to fix this thing. We put the match in here. Then we flip the switch. Then we turn this. And we need a tube to go to both. I have tubes. And then we put water in here? Yeah, because that's H2O. Um, and then we flip this. But what steps do we do these in? Does it really matter? Okay, so it's this thing. So, take a match. Can't turn on the fire, there's no gas coming from the pipes. Well then. I guess if the red light is red, it's not working. So how do I do this? Do I put water in here first? Water. There we go. Close down you. This pipe is fucked. Toe seems to be damaged. Can I remove it? Okay, turn off you. How do I remove the pipe? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have duct tape. Yes. Okay, there we go. And now turn this. Wait, what way did it say it had to be turned? Okay. I'm figuring it out. I'm sorry. This is slow. It needs to be level. Okay, blah 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 blah. 
Right. And then we can turn the switch and then... There should be gas. There we go! I did it! What did that do though? What did that fix? Didn't help anything here, that's still burning away. Um... <laughs> I'm confused! Maybe it opened something somewhere else. I can... Uh, I can drag... I did not know that! Oh god, I've been sitting here for like 20 fucking minutes trying to figure out how I do it. I thought I had to mix a certain amount of them to put them in- I don't know. 18, 2PF, or 15. 2PF, or 15. Okay. 2PF. And then R15. Then N166. Sweet! 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 I did it! I think. I think it's done. Super Chemistry Master Frambo. What do we do now? Ah, oh, thank fucking Christ! Fran! I finally managed to fix the automatic driver! Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran! Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you were afraid of rabbits. There is a little rabbit in one of the rooms and I'm, I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. <laughs> Is it cho is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see for yourself! It has a pink nose and blue boots! It's just sitting there, no blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It's quite terrifying. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me. Otherwise, I will never know. Brave you are, dear! Follow me now! On we go! Good God. Again, I, I really apologize that I have to split up these last few episodes so much. I know how tedious and or I know how annoying it is to see it, but it's so tedious to play. It's like you're spending so much time going back and forth trying to figure out the puzzles, and it's not fun to watch. Believe me. Oh, oh you opened this door now. Good. Awesome. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that a strange behavior? It's a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. I like how he's like, no, get away. Ugh. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Grab the rabbit and just fucking chops on your hand. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> see, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. You fucking dickbag. Oh! Oh! Let me take this fucking wrench and beat you over the face with it. What a douche nozzle fraggle fuck. You itward's head. I like the hat. You should be freaking out a lot more. Green leaves. There's carrots. Okay. So do I have to like beat my way out of this place? Ooh! Can I make it go back down? Ooh! What happens if it's just this one when I'm on it? Oh, okay, thank you! What did I get? A battery! Okay... Oh, 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 oh! There we go! I never, do I have to really click on you again to unlock this one? There we go, take the panel off! And now I'll put the battery inside! Okay, this- this puzzle is a bit easier to figure out than the fucking last one, anyway. Sweet! What did you do? This is a small ventilation swirl. Cool! Ah, I powered that guy. Sweet! On we go! Back to get Mr. Midnight. Hi, parents. I didn't take the pills. Why are you in this reality all of a sudden? Are you? Oh, Jesus Christ! I'll be having enough of those pills, thank you! <laughs> That's a teapot. <laughs> a water symbol, I guess it's connected to something. 
Yeah, probably the teapot. Woo! Can I use the bucket? Yeah, okay. I don't know what I need water for. <gasps> He's afraid of water! Is he? I've seen these in movies. The thief always knows what to do. Oh, hello! Right eight. Okay, so that's the first one. I think. Right eight. Left eight? Oh, Something number! Is that what that's saying? What do you say? Nine. Left nine. I don't know which ones are first though. Okay, so six. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One. Where's two? One, two, three, four, five. Is there five combinations? So one, two. So that's the first one. So it's right eight. And then whatever this one is. The big fucking mechanical rabbit block in my way though. How do I get past that? Um. Push the button. No. I can't see the number. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry or both. Ooh, maybe I have to get him a carrot. There we go. Okay, give the carrot to the rabbit. Got it, got it, got it, getting it done. There we go. So it's right eight, right five. Right eight, right five, left eight. Oh god, I have to write this down. Right eight, right five, left. I already forgot. <laughs> Sorry, this is so tedious to watch and to play. Left, eight, then right. That was a six, wasn't it? I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. I'm just, stop, yeah, I'm just making sure. Right, six. And then what's the last one? Oh, okay, that was, that was quite a solution to the puzzle. Left, nine. Okay, let's head upstairs and figure this out. Hit this. Up we go! Thank you, little button-pushing arm. <laughs> uh, right eight, right five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah! Fucking sweet mother goose! Oh, I feel accomplished with that. Turn on the light. Oh, is something gonna be bad in here? Surprise, Fran! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party! I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me! We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear Fran. Come and eat cake. All right, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. It's my birthday, am I 11? The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. Me, the cat, the teddy bears. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade things. Here you go. I hope you, you find it educational. Is it a cat wrapped up? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. I don't trust this. Oh, it's a toy cat. Wow, a cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it, it's beautiful. Why would you find it educational, though? It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra, ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends! Would you like some explanations? I don't really, but for the sake of context. Okay, look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir, but maybe I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> that may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. You're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, 
We are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here I go. Whoosh. I don't like this. Oh, no, 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 no. What's happening? Oh, dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There is no one. There is one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleanses the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. I know where to go. I know where to go. Engine room. Engine room. Come on. The engine room, there was a pile of dirt. There. Use it. That didn't work. Kitty, do you know where he is? Oh wait, there was another room in this place. Upstairs. Yay, ah, oh, that was up here. Never mind. Kamala. Dirt. Okay, maybe I can use these. Um, oh, look at the little rabbit. He's all dressed up now. Um, okay, let's go back up. Where the hell could he be hiding? I don't know where he is. I thought that the pile of dirt was where he'd be hiding. Hello, girls. How are you guys doing? Wait, can I open this door again so I don't have to keep going up and down that area? No, yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, 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 hi, hi, there you are. Ah, oh, yeah, so the Kamalas are what the evil creature dude is, I think. See ya! You dead now? Can you fuck off forever and never come back again? Ah, don't run away, where are you going? I did it! This is a long ass episode, by the way. I'm, tr I'm trying to, like, continue forward. Can't have you now, friend. I have to concentrate on the driving machine. Do I have to keep doing this? I. I thought I got it! Did I not get him? Or is he hiding somewhere else now? I don't think I have water again, do I? No, I lost my bucket of water. Now what do I do? Is he up on top? Hi. Oh. Oh, that's why you're able to move around. Okay, now, the blip. There we go. Now spray him. Give him the hose. Yeah, die, bitch. Okay, this is rather tedious, dude. If you could just die for me, that'd be great. Here you go, die, die. Die, you hairy bitch. One more should do it. Over here. Or not. Bye! Yeah! I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Good job, Fran. You are really the best that ever was. Are we done? Itward, sir. We did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes. But it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> no, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. Oh. That's nice. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Oh, it's like a little bug. I'm sorry, sometimes when I go close to the microphone, I end up clipping it. It's probably sounds terrible. The end. But that is a very sad ending, Itward. Tell me another story, please. All right, this is the story of Fran Bo and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. Hee <laughs> hee, I promise, Itward, I'll never forget you. Good, now it's time to sleep. I know I changed his voice, but it feels better suiting for these scenarios. 
Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Don't tell me she's dreaming all of this. If it turns out at the end of this game it says it was all a dream, I will flip a shit. Doctor's prescription. Sweet! That's what I wanted. I, I had a feeling that the, the next chapter was up soon. But this is only part two of chapter four. Hello, Mr. Deer. Don't sniff me. I'd beat the shit out of you. Yeah, you better run. It would. Woo! Oh, Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. Hmm, but Itward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine and see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see. The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to, s come to me someday. Sweet! Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this video here. Seems like we might have two videos left. Uh, I know these are getting a bit long, but towards the end of the series, I want to... I want the, the ending to come a bit faster. I don't want to spend too much time bouncing around from part to part. I want to actually encapsulate as much as I can each episode coming up towards the end. We might have two episodes left, three at the very, very most, because it seems like I might be able to get chap the second part of this done in the next episode, and then all of chapter five in the last video, depending on how long it is. I have no idea. Um, I might have to split them up a bit more, chop them down a bit more, because there's a lot I want... Coming up towards the end of the game, I want the story to be the main focus. I want the the narrative to be the main focus, and not all this like tedious going between puzzle stuff. I know that's what the gameplay is, but right now, I am just concerned with what the conclusion is, and I'm sure all of you are as well, so that's what I'm trying to focus on more, and that's why I'm editing out more of the other parts. So I apologize if that bugs some of you, but trust me, if, you, if somebody comes across this in a huge playlist, the last thing they're going to want to see is me struggling to go through like different puzzles because that's not fun to watch. What's what's fun about this series is the voices and the characters and the story, not the puzzles. So anyway, that's what I think. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss and I face all row. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys and I will see all your dudes. Clack Betches! Oh, that's a good one. That's a keeper. Bye. Hashtag no filter! <laughs> oh man, Mr. Midnight, these episodes are long!